What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to Airport CEO. We are in our recreation of Nashville International. Um, last time we moved around some security. We got some of the check-in desks up on the second floor. I did a little bit of rearranging, so now we've got the uh, baggage drops in there as well. Um, in between episodes, I was looking for some better images, went scrolling through the internet and discovered that literally last week whenever i started this series they have opened up their newest section which is the main concourse area they have what they are considering the grand lobby now so in that grand lobby is securities so this security will be moving at some point in the near future i'm trying to get any additional pictures that I can, but those are few and far between. Uh, I stumbled across a couple local news footage that I was going through and uh, basically going frame by frame to see what I could see. It was very uh, looking for the, uh, the second shooter on the grassy knoll kind of footage there. Uh, I don't know why I didn't take that out. Um, but yeah, just basically going frame by frame to see what kind of stuff that they have done. It looks like it's just in the main section here. I don't think they've done anything with any of the concourses yet. A, B, or the C and D on the other side. It looks like it's just the main central area, and it looks like it's just security. Um, prior to that, the airport was operating under, as two separate terminals. There was the one for A and B, and then there was a second area for C and D. Why am I telling you this? Because of the map that I've been using has not been updated on the FlyNashville.com website. It is still pulling a lot of the old construction stuff, so it doesn't have that central area um, in here. It just basically has this broken itself off, like this exit. Uh, this exit is moved further down, and you can walk from this concourse through the center down over concourse C and concourse D. Again, these are the kind of things that I'm trying to find pictures and even just maps of, but they redesigned it to make it a lot more user-friendly. So rather than having to go through security and then go out and walk to the other terminal, they uh, basically joined it together, made it a lot more user friendly. Again, hopefully I can find some better images and uh, better pictures of that. Took that chunk out so maybe people will use the road correctly. But if you are following along on the flynashville.com website, the Concourses themselves should be the same. Um, it's just the check-in and security area that we're going to be kind of having to uh, deal with on the fly. I got distracted on the uh, <laughs> the Fly Nashville website. They have merchandise you can buy. Uh, they have they have B and A carpet doormat. So you can get the carpet pattern as a doormat for your house. They also have BNA carpeted ornaments for your Christmas tree. They've got hoodies, beanies, hats, socks. I don't think I've ever seen an airport with merchandise that you can actually buy for apparel. So if you are looking for yourself some nice Airport socks, by all means. Um, not that this is sponsored by them, unless they want to give me a sponsor. They are more than welcome to. They could fly me out there, and I could take a look at their brand new concourse area. Uh, but for right now, we're going to kind of focus, and we're going to leave this how it is set up for right now. Because I'm still a little ways away before we really tackle this diagonal because we need to buy that tile, need to get rid of this runway and move it this way. So we're, we, we are still a little bit of ways away. I'm trying to fix traffic right now. Um, 
Okay, this road can go then. Uh, probably helps if I'm on the right level. There we go. And because there is so much traffic, let's go ahead and drop in a few more drop-off areas. Just to make sure people can get in and out. Maybe I will remember to put these in the correct areas. Or on the correct side. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and uh, are enjoying the series. Let's work on Concourse B. We've got some cash. Let's go ahead and kind of finish this. That. And we'll roll in with the rest of that. And we'll take out this center. There we go. And we've got a bunch of people uh, arriving, which is nice to see. In this area. We've got some stuff to add in here. Here. Not a lot of stuff, but it's stuff nonetheless. I'm going to do a wall up to. Here. And a wall down here. Do a wall there and a wall there. And a, ooh. I'm going to do a wall here. It's going to be a self-boarding desk here. But. In this spot. We have the Arlington Bar and Grill. Now, I don't know if this is going to be enough space, quite frankly. But it's the space we have. So let's give it a shot, see if we can get a small restaurant in here. We'll drop it in. Do I have anything that'll work for size? Burger King, which I don't want to use right now. Um... Bell Beer. I think Bell Beer might be it. Yeah, that'll work. We just need display fridges. We can we, we can handle display fridges. Now there is a wall in the front. We'll go ahead and just drop that in. Uh, if you hadn't guessed, bathrooms. They are kind of like this. It looks like from the the pictures that I can track. And this is a coffee place. The GG coffee. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, but let's get our restaurant set up. Looks like there's kind of a bar back back here. And we'll do a... We'll do that kind of. Thing. No, we'll just do. We'll just stick with the one over here. And it looks like there's just a, a giant counter across. Uh, display fridges. I'm gonna go ahead and put the display fridges in the back wall. Should be enough, yes, for Bell Beer. Sign it. Uh, we'll, we'll speed things up here. Uh, let's get the bar seat. Looks like they're like a, a black or dark leather. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go kind of really dark. Maybe yet. Dark chocolate, maybe. I'm calling that chocolate. I don't. I don't know. If it's or not. And then it looks like it's just kind of basic round tables. Okay. 
and just standard square chair. It seems a little tight fit, but um, chairs are lighter brown. Yeah, something like that'll work. And then the table, it's kind of a almost like a light. I don't know if that's necessarily the color I want. Close. Ah, there we go. We'll go ahead and we'll copy the table chairs. Do one there. No, we won't. Do one there. I think I'm going to bump this just a little bit more. Feel that wall just too So that'll be in place. We have some people coming in to enjoy a uh, nice beverage before they board their flight. The wood is kind of a almost like a light wood. Drop that in. We need to rezone that center spot. There. Go. And we have our first restaurant in here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the bathrooms in and going. a piece of wall. There we go. Go ahead and get these up and running. It looks like this, from the best I can tell, just kind of a basic pile. And then we've got the coffee. The Kajiji Coffee, the first African-American coffee shop in the Nashville area. It's been serving premium coffee in the Music City since 1997. So it looks like it's kind of a very small little coffee shop. Uh, go. Roll this in. It looks like it's just counter service from the picture I'm seeing. It doesn't look like there's a lot of tables and chairs in front. But we will add some tables and chairs. We've got a coffee cup. We, we got kappa. Uh, we don't have the size for kappa. Bean? We don't have the size for the bean either. Oh. Huh. Hilltop? Oh, we've got hilltop. Okay. We just need a display for that. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a coffee shop. Looks like there's couple registers uh, okay make sure I had that register the right way because if you've spent any time on the channel you know I have a tendency of getting where those go there's a little path on the left hand side I actually head out um, well, sandwiches and some snacks That'll take care of that. Again, it's basically just this, and you can walk in, and grab your coffee, and go. It's like it's kind of a gray flooring in this area. Um, back there is there is a fridge back here, along with. 
a sink uh, and a little bit of counter area for some coffee machines. And we'll drop a little working counter back there as well. We'll go ahead and we'll grab a hilltop. It fits the size, so we can we can work with that. Um, again, it's just kind of just a walk-up plate. And for Concourse A, not actually very much more over here. There's a few pieces of art opposite that. Um, they've the airport itself has a lot of paintings and a lot of art. Um, so we'll do a little bit here and there. It is the Music City, so they do have a lot of guitars of uh, different famous acts that have come through at different times, but there's some art right there. Uh, there is some more shops we'll get to down there. And the international section is going to be somewhere over here. Basically, it kind of comes down at a little bit of an angle, it looks like. But that basically is going to kind of roll through A. Now, obviously, we do not have the fancy carpet that they have there. Especially if you can go and you can purchase yourself some uh, a doormat. Uh, I take that back. The doormat is sold out. So if you were looking to go get yourself a doormat, you're going to have to wait on that. But you can still get the, uh, the Christmas ornaments if you want. But the carpet is very unique. And it's going to be a bit of a project. But it's going to be... Primarily a lighter color tan, and it'll have kind of darker border on it. Hmm. Again, wish there were more options for color in this game. Yeah, we'll probably end up sticking with that. Um, do you actually look like wood? Or are you just brown? You kind of look brown. So it'll probably be that color, the color that I just laid out, as well as bits and pieces of this. But I'm going to have to take some time, take a look at what the pattern looks like, and go from there. So it's probably going to be that kind of palette. I have that back? Thank you. I am going to go ahead and border... ...this. Because it looks like it's bordered. So, uh, in between episodes, I'll probably come through and clean up that carpet quite a bit. I'm holding off on the international zone, putting that in just because I know we're going to need the flights. I imagine the carpeting does continue on through. I've not seen any pictures of the international zone with the exception of just the glass panels here, separating it from the rest of the airport. Um, that we can go ahead and add in for the time being. I'm going to do it just straight across. Um, I don't remember how big passport control is. We're going to... It's three, okay. We're going to do it with actually having it... S no, I take that back. We're going to go with automation, I think. So we're going to do like three automated passport control areas. Again, not doing it today, because I 
kind of want to make sure the stand stays operating. I don't think there's a lot of international flights. So I want to make sure that we've got money coming in. So I'm going to go with three and three. We're going to drop that in there. That's going to be international down the road. So Concourse A is starting to really take shape, which is definitely nice to see. Um, one last thing that I kind of want to deal with. Oh, actually, I should take that back. Two things. Um, take a look real quick to see how the chairs are laid out. Oh, they do have chairs. We will go ahead and add some chairs in. Uh, we're going to slide these over a little bit more. We've got some that are looking out windows. Tables and trash cans. Uh, that we hold on. Nope. I want it there. And then they're just kind of facing back and forth. I don't like how uneven these are. Hmm. I might take these out a little bit. Um, it's like they're just kind of black. Quite frankly. So maybe we'll go with a uh, really dark black color. Paint them all. I wanted to paint them all. There we go. We've got some seats going in. Those are just really dark. I'm going to copy. There we go. We copy you two. And I think just do them there and there. And let's put trash cans in here. Help our janitors out a little bit. Trash cans along the corners there. And this is just going to be a lot of dead space. There's just... This section is not nearly as long as it is. And looking at it, I could actually take that back. Because this does not jut out this far. I think I was going around with the idea of doing something else. So in between episodes, I'll probably pull that back a little bit. Back to where it should be. The last thing I want to do, and as far as I can tell, it's still going to stick around, is going to be right over here. I may tweak it just a little bit here in, uh, as we uh, expand things, but give me art. There's not a decent object. We're going to go with bottle, I and it's going to live here. And we're going to paint it kind of a brown color. Oop. There we go. Oh, nope, no, no, no. We're going to paint that. Oh, it's a nice blue color, actually. A lighter blue. There we go. Um, something like that. And right here. 
I'm just going to read directly from the website. It is the Mausic City Pet Selfie Station. Oh yes, I said Pet Selfie Station. The perfect place for a selfie with your favorite four-legged companion. So, the Nashville Airport has a place where you can take a picture with your cat, or your dog, or your cockatoo, if that's what you're flying with. I don't know. I've not seen any of those on social media, but if you follow me on social media, Darkwater024 on Twitter, if you want to take a selfie with your furry friend, you can uh, go ahead and tag me in it. But I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here and look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Bye.